What can I do in the Dim Sum Warriors app? The Dim Sum Warriors app is actually a tool that is really great for everyday practice of reading aloud. And reading aloud is so great for learning a language. Um, you choose the language that you're best at. Um, and the reason is because that determines the instructions inside the app. Um, and then you'll be asked to choose the language you're trying to learn. So you want to learn the language. I would highly recommend that you start with the read function. So you get an overview of the book. You can listen to our wonderful actors acting out the book. Um, uh, and then there's a record function where you can record your own voice reading aloud. Um, so this is very effective. To hear your own voice reading aloud is actually quite effective in, in recall. Uh, and in improving in, in your language ability. There are two games in the app. Uh, you can see the side words game, the first game usually. It's the, that, that means the words they are used very regularly. They're simpler words but used very regularly. They're chang um, zi in, in the book um, and also in, in general literature that you read. The second game uh, focuses on the keywords inside the uh, inside the book, Different. each book. So then that Different. requires you to translate from English to Chinese or Chinese to English. The most Ooh. interesting function in the uh, app is actually voice practice. So you should really go to voice practice uh, and practice reading aloud. What we've done is we have broken down the each sentence in the book, in each story, into small pieces so that's easy for you to review um, and read aloud. So you press the microphone when it turns red, you hold on to it and you read aloud. Release the microphone and you will hear um, and see the evaluation whether you got one heart, two hearts or three hearts. You can also switch the language um, to the other language, to English and test yourself in the other language as well. And keep comparing between the languages to see how each each sentence is phrased. Um, oh, for the Chinese section, when you read in Chinese, there's also the pin in function. You can turn the pin in on or pin in off. If you need it, you turn it on. If you want to test yourself how independent you are or pin in, you can actually turn it off. There is one word that uh, the system does not get right and always gets it wrong. So even if you get it right, the system actually thinks that it's wrong. I have to tell you this. Um, can you guess what word that is? The word is baozi. Baozi. So when it's in English and you try to evaluate B-A-O-Z-I or B-A-O-Z-I, um, the system doesn't register because in English it's something like bail Z or something like that. So so it doesn't register that uh, you're reading it correctly. So just a note of warning when you see any word that has bowed, um, the English evaluation goes a little bit crazy. But other than that, it's pretty perfect. Um, you will you will actually get pretty good uh, evaluation of your reading.